In this video, we're going to have a look at how you can automatically apply a service level agreement, or SLA, to a request based on configurable rules. We're currently looking at an existing incident which has the standard SLA associated to it. As part of this SLA, service levels are used to apply response and resolution targets. SLAs are configured under each service. Clicking here will take us to the desktop support service and under the SLA tab, we can see the standard SLA that was applied to the incident. As there is a single SLA for this service, this will be used for all requests that are raised against this service. However, you may find the need to have a bespoke SLA for a particular customer. Clicking on the new service level agreement option, will take us through the creation of a new SLA. We start by providing a name, description, and the working time calendar which sets the hours and days that support will be available. The next step is to provide a service level, again giving it a name and a description. For this service level, I'm also going to include a response target of three hours. Now that we have more than one SLA, we need to set up some rules for when each of the SLAs are applied. This is done through the Manage Rules tab. I start by clicking on New Rule. I provide a name and then select the SLA that will be applied when this rule is met. Next, I add a condition where the organization is Acme Limited. And then we click on Create. Now, any number of rules can be added. I'm going to add a second rule, this time for the standard SLA. I'm going to add a condition based on request type so that this SLA is only used for incidents. Once you have more than one rule, you may need to adjust the position of the rules as they are processed in the order that they're listed. Now I'm going to go back to my request list and raise a new incident. The customer I'm going to select is from the organization Acme Limited. I provide a summary and I select the service and then assign to a team and raise my request. Now looking at the SLA section of the incident, we can see that the Acme SLA has been assigned automatically for this customer from Acme Limited.